Remember Senator Graham, Lindsey Graham, I, I forget the exact words. We played the soundbite yesterday. But he basically said, correct me if I'm wrong, but he essentially said that we have to do this because Hispanics hate us. And we've got to show them that we don't hate them. I mean, it's a paraphrase, but his motivation, his, I mean, it was on one of the Sunday shows, his declared motivation for this was the fact that Hispanics hate us, they were racist bigots, don't like them, hate them, don't want them here, don't care. He says, we got to show them that isn't the case, and that's why he wants to. Yeah, you can write off 2016, and you can write off any presidential race after that, he said. And I want to take that line of thinking and expand upon it. If the Republicans, if, if one of the main reasons for passing the Gang of Eight immigration bill is so Republicans can prove that they don't hate Hispanics, then what's next? Are the Republicans going to have to support gay marriage to prove that they don't hate gays? And then are the Republicans going to have to support affirmative action to prove they don't hate blacks? And then are they going to have to support legalization of marijuana and forgiving student loans to prove they don't hate college kids? And so on. And it's very difficult, folks, to out-liberal a liberal. And the, here's, Senator Graham said, the only way we can get back in the good graces of the Hispanic community, in my view, is to pass comprehensive immigration reform. The only way that we can get back in the good graces of the Hispanic community. In fact, folks, this is a sentiment that exists all across the Republican Party and in certain elements of the so-called conservative media. And it all boils down to the thing that I was talking about yesterday, worried about what people think of you. And can you even control that? Why do Hispanics hate Republicans? A, do Hispanics hate Republicans? Is that really true? That's the first question. Do Hispanics in mass hate Republicans? If they do, why do they hate Republicans? Is it because of what Republicans have done, not done, said or not said, or is it because of the way they are portrayed by Democrats in the media? If it's the latter, how in the world is supporting immigration reform going to change that? But Senator Graham thinks it is crucial. The only way we get back in the good graces of the Hispanic community, which again was barely 8% of the electorate in 2012. What are we going to do to get back in the graces of the youths of America? The youths of America voted for Obama in far greater numbers, percentage-wise, than Hispanics did. And that's my point here. Are we going to have to prove that we... Uh, don't hate gays by supporting gay marriage. Is that what this is going to come down to? That we're hated. The Republicans, not we. The Republicans are hated. And they're hated by all of these groups that vote Democrat. And so the only way that's going to change is to support what all of these Democrat groups want. Because that will prove to these Democrat groups that they are wrong in how they think about us. Where do, it sounds to me like a pretty ingenious trick to get the Republican Party to toss aside what it stands for. But this has even permeated the conservative media. You will hear people in the conservative media say things like, well, you know, the way they look at us now, they hate us. All you got to do is, you know, a guy trying to climb the fence, coming over here to feed his family, and we don't want that. We want him to starve. We got to change that picture. We have to change that perception. They think that we don't care about their family starving. All a guy's trying to do is get across the border and feed his kid. And they think we don't want him to do that. So the impetus for doing this, and I would guess some of the highest levels of the party, is the belief that Hispanics hate us. And I guess that there are evidence for that.
is election returns. So, for some reason, the Hispanic population is now where the rubber meets the road for the future of the Republican Party. In their minds. But if this works, I guarantee you the next thing, well, you know, if you, 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 the gays, look, they give all the money to Democrats, they raise money for Democrats, the gays hate you guys, they know you're a bunch of homophobes. Okay, well, we'll support gay marriage then. And you know, Black people, you guys, look at you never get more than 10% of the black vote. You know, black people think you want to put them back on plantations and uh, deny them this and deny them that. That's why they vote. You've got you to show them you don't hate them. Okay, well, uh, what can we, we'll support affirmative action or whatever the cause celeb of the day is in that group. And where does this end? I'm only reacting to Senator Graham. Maybe the big one. Women supposedly hate us, right, because of abortion. And you can't win the presidency without the female vote. I'm, I'm, this is what we're going to hear. What do we have to do to make the women realize we don't hate them? Change our attitude on abortion? Where does this stuff stop? If this is the reason, if this is the reason that we do immigration reform, then there's a whole list of things that you and I know that it is said Republicans are hated. Women hate us. Blacks hate us. The gays hate us. Uh, Native Americans don't like us. Uh, Hispanics uh, don't like us. What do we have to do to make them all like us? Because, see, we don't even have a chance of them voting for us until they like us. Now, McCain was pro-amnesty. I mean, you couldn't get more pro-amnesty than McCain. The gays hate us, so what are we going to have to do? And the Hispanics hate us, and blacks hate us, and women hate us. The Democrats hate us. What are we going to have to do to get the Democrats to like us? What's the difference in suggesting, as Senator Graham did... The only way we get back in the good graces of the Hispanic community is to pass comprehensive immigration reform. Well, the Democrats don't like us. The hell with the Hispanics. Democrats everywhere don't like us. Democrat women, Democrat blacks, Democrat Hispanics, Democrat homosexuals, Democrat you name it. Don't. What are we going to do to get the Democrats to like us? And why is it that nobody ever asks, what are the Democrats going to have to do to make us like them? Why is that never part of any political question equation process? The Democrats lose elections. They don't win every election. And when they lose elections, they lose elections because conservatives vote against them. Republicans vote against them. Why don't they ever say, why do these Republicans hate us? You know, we're going to have to change some things here, make the Republicans like us so we win elections. That never happens. Never, it is said. Never is it said. In fact, when the Democrats lose elections, what do they do? They ramp. They ramp up. Well, they say they didn't get their message out, but they start insulting Republicans and voters for being stupid, and they take it out on them the next time they do win by spying on them with the IRS or what have you.